Come on. There, a little red dot. Good. something that is not a warrant article, but is significant in value. Okay. Such, such as? I don't know. <laughs> what? What? Well, the first thing that comes to mind for me is the, the transfer switch for $2,500. Yeah, I'm saying that. Okay. That fits into that. Okay, that, that would be right. Anything else? Well, yeah, that, that, that works. Right. The, um, you know, we've invested in the, the buildings for the chemical uh, addition move. Uh, we've got a, a rough estimate of twenty thousand dollars to finish that, but there's addition additional uh, instrumentation that we were adding in there that we don't currently have. So if we eliminate uh, the instrumentation, we can look at. I think we can look at that as capital improvement. Well, how much are we talking? Well, it'd be if we take the instrumentation out, it would be around fourteen thousand. If with the instrumentation, we're at twenty. Okay, that that would really should be a warning. Yeah, I think we can do the installation. That's one thing you can do. Right? Get part of the process going. How much yeah, is the installation? Installation. Yeah. Oh, you're talking a little wooden building. 
Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Of course, that came for twenty thousand bucks of insulin. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's more to it than that. Thank you. What else are we talking about? These are little wooden buildings. You've seen this, right? No, I've not seen this. I sent it to everybody. So it's when did you send it? I uh, sent it multiple times. Clem's got a copy right now. I got a uh, copy because uh, it was sent out to uh, the response to an email that I sent out last week. Oh, oh okay. okay. What okay. else is involved? So this is where the chemicals you had, you showed me when we were down there, the buildings, the little buildings, and you've got the pumps working out of there rather than elsewhere, correct? That's where the pumps need to go. Okay. And they're not out there now? They're not. Okay. And upgrade. So you have pumps now, but then you need new pumps? Is that correct? No, we've upgraded the pumps this year, so we can take that out. The things here that have been accomplished. So we have, we take 2400 out. Okay. So. No, there's no there's no there's 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 Currently, the way the um, chemical lines run, they run through the electrical manhole system. So they're removing all those chemical feed lines coming from the existing chemical room. So we'll utilize that uh, system of manholes and, and conduit to get the electricity out to those buildings from the, the main building. But the manhole ends, you know, four or five feet shy of the first building. So we'll have to do, you know, some small trench work to just extend the conduit from that last manhole. So if I'm reading this correctly, the electrical heater, the electrical exhaust fans, and the electrical supplies comes out to about uh, two grand and another twelve, so you're doing thirty-two hundred bucks to run some electrical lines for this. Am I missing something? There's an electrical heater. Correct. Electric heaters, I mean, what are we buying for an electric heater out there? Well, I don't have all that information. This is a rough estimate, Bob. So this is this is the takeoff sheet. And we haven't gone any further with it. So um, this, we don't have all that detail right now. Finish inside buildings. Those are those two wooden buildings. Correct. Five grand. What is going to cost five grand? It's going to be all chemical resistant material. Okay. Do we have a list of what the Yeah, chemical we, we didn't have the chemical no, chemical He's got to have materials on it. So we're talking plastics, we're talking stainless, what are we talking here? Again, this is a takeoff. We haven't got that far into developing this, so we'll have to get a list of materials. This is an estimate as to what it could cost. Okay. Well, we're going to be insulated anyway. Yeah, the insulation is easy. The insulation we could do now as part of the regular budget yeah. type thing. Yeah. Now the, the only question on the insulation is what type of insulation because you can put up you can put up uh, fiberglass which probably in that condition is not going to work and then you can do spray in. Well, the, I think the fiberglass, fiberglass no. depending on the air factor you're looking for, you're only going to have electric heater in there, right? And the type of door? It's a small space. Yeah. It's a steel door. Mm -hmm. See, foam insulation, you're probably given the fact that it's outside. And, but again, it depends on what kind of material you're going to put again, the top of the foam insulation, the injectors have been insulated, right? But the deck's already been insulated. It was insulated when we built. Okay, with fiberglass? Uh, with foam. 
Home panel? Mm -hmm. Home panels have had a cheaper knock back, I think, and much better in construction than yours. That was the reason I built my own side of the house. You might want to consider what the um, the stuff is chemically inert and fireproof and actually cheaper than fiberglass. Is the R fan for some mistake? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. Rock wall, you said? Rock wall. Rock wall. Rock wall. That's the other thing on the interior. You use the cement board or you use stainless. A uh, cement board would probably be better. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm thinking. And it's easy to put in, easy to work with. Yeah. Yeah. Fire I, I repair it. Fire fireproof. Exactly. Right. It doesn't have to be, it needs to be chemical resistant. Oh, the, the really? yeah, cement board. No, cement's actually not with some of the off gas that we get from the sodium bicarbonate. Okay. So we, we want to be looking at, uh, you know, a plastic of some sort. There, there's plenty of materials out there that, that would meet the requirements for this. I just don't have all those details. I, I put a, a rough right. estimate as to what it would cost to do that today. Just kind of a ballpark. This, yeah. is, just so it's about us, this is just to get us going. 3600 bucks. 3600 All right, let's do that. So the pumps, the, the buildings are right at the point of distribution for the chemicals. So the chemical is going to come out of the building right where it needs to be applied. So there's no okay. shower. There's no digging for that. No. Uh -huh. well, That's why those buildings, <coughs> like, there, yeah, and that is, a, in, in terms of the cost of the overall project, is the least amount. Okay. That's just a PVC conduit and um, chemical. The reason I was asking, I was looking at the statement. The restoration pumps were running the... Yes. And then that's all it is. That's it. Are you going to make that a separate item? Electrical? Well, you, you need as much detail as possible because someone's going to say, how did you come to that figure? You can't run the electrical until you get the lines real Right. We can't do it now. Well, yeah, but, you can but get this is for base, 2020. This is in August. It's a baseline yeah. guesstimate. You know, if you still going to do the rest of the site, the building to relocate your line, and we haven't done that yet. We're, we're talking about 2020. Right? I, I understand that. We're talking about 2020. Uh, if it's 2020, you're not planning on doing anything on the inside door other than the finish work. The installation, and then the sheeting.
right there. You know, the inline flooring, pH meters, you know, we don't have to do that right away. I would, I would like to see it installed, but we've had issues with pH and flooring. But um, if we can at least get the buildings operational and, and make that a phase two project. Um, you know, Mr. Fisher, do you have any sense of where the information is at? We're not doing anything in this year's budget. Nothing. In 20, I guess. In 2020, um, Mr. Berger made us looking at right now, right? No, capital improvement. No, this is capital improvement. All right. We'll start the install and insulate the walls. We'll go with the sheeting, electrical, roof. The only electrical would be the fans and heater. Yes. Well, and and until, 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 and you, until you move your lines out, you can't run your electrical. Okay. I think one of the last things that you do. Right. Right. Okay. But we're just getting prices into that. I, I understand. Transfer switch, chemical sheds, electrical for the chemical shed, vents and fans, and skater. Anything else that belongs in there in a capital improvement? Uh, well, this is going to be something to discuss, part of the pump galley, but if we don't have the room to, I'm hoping we're going to be able to come in under budget in the pump galley be able to consume this part of the skate upgrade. You, Clem and I have talked about this briefly. Um, the chemical or, or the, tran the control panel in the basement is, has been, you know, fabricated and, and messed with for, for years. There's been different pumps that have come in and out of there. Um, so to, to get a, a, again, to go to a NEMA 4X enclosure like we did at General Sullivan, this, the panel that's down there currently is not. One of the VFDs isn't even in the panel. So my goal was to get a all a VFD. A VFD, variable frequency drive. So oh, that's the, yeah. the brain yes. of the, the, yeah. the operation for pumping power. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to get all the VFDs in one cabinet in an EMA 4X. So if there is a leak. How much? Uh, it's. to get the panel and, and the equipment into the panel. And then an additional, so 144 total. Um, I've currently, I've got $3,000 allotted for the SCADA in, in the pump galley upgrade. Um, we'll wait and see, you know, if the rest of the invoices in. I'm projecting that we're going to have roughly, I'm hoping we're going to have about a $5,000 buffer. Okay. So we should have, you know, if we take into consideration the, the three that we've already got budgeted down there, we could take this first phase of the 6800 and, and consume that in the pump alley upgrade. Okay. So that we understand clearly, mm -hmm. 50000 is the dead stop. I understand that. That's, that's taking that into consideration. It's just moving numbers around in that 50,000 uh, to be able to consume this that wasn't listed in there. Okay. If, that's if all. you can come in under budget, fine. Okay. But the skater system, 
that's the same type of system we have that had a problem over here. Yeah. Okay. So I'm assuming we're going to put that on a different floor rather than in the base. No, it's in the right base. In the deep floor. In the deep floor. Yeah, we put in that. Supposedly waterproof, but it isn't supposed to. Yes. We can talk about that at a later date. Right. But it improves its viability. It, it, it it a different room it makes it even more viable. Put it in a different state. Um, There's no such thing as proof. Yeah, like bulletproof vests are not bulletproof. Okay. Well, right, right now, as far as that goes, the purchase orders are contracted services, which does not include the proof. What? The current purchase order is for contracted services only. It what? takes one to come down and do the work. Yeah. Quick. It does not include the service. It's going to have to be listed separately. Yeah. We don't have that yet. But it's part of the budget. The, the instrumentation is part of that budget. I understand. But you're still, what we still are given is nothing with materials. The contractor said we were violent. We come in and do something. We got to know the materials. We have to just come in. Oh, I'll give you. A, there'll be a full detail. Before yeah. I move okay. on it, I'll get you a full list of I what. I understand. We're just stating what yeah, we have in place right now. I, I'm okay. not moving. Okay. Well, yeah, it's kind of. I'm bringing it up while I got you guys right now because there's a potential we're going to be able to consume that. That's all. I'll have a full list of what would be happening if we move on that. But if if this isn't able to be consumed in that, what I'm saying is it would be a capital improvement for next year. For next year. But if I'm, I'm Clem, if I'm hearing you correctly, you're saying there's nothing for materials. Just the contracted services currently. The contracted services we're referring to was for this company come in and tie everything in. Level one. Level one to to do the full meters and everything like we've had in the past. Right. Yep. Didn't include any materials. That's a big. I thought it did. No, the only thing they included was the new pull down. The flow meters. Flow meters. The flow. That's all we had. Right. Lavalette does all our integration. Right, so we've got new equipment to integrate into the existing system that's there. Okay. What so I'm what I'm talking about is that existing system being upgraded. That and what Clem's saying is we need to list the material for that to happen. Right, Clem? Yes. Yeah. Okay, but that'll be next year. Yeah, I think capital improvements are right. Okay. Moving okay. up, okay. but we don't have that here. I don't. What I got. improvements, the transfer switch, the chemical sheds for 3,600, electrical, basically running wires for 800, the vents and fans for 1,200, and SCADA, I'm presuming that means the instrumentation, not a tie-in. Again, SCADA would be more, no, that would be integration. That's the integration yes. of it. Right. Okay. So you, you can't do that until you get rid of the system. So we need to put that in the this year's budget. Well, no, this is next year's budget. I, I know, but... I'm referring to what we're talking this is okay. Because you're not going to have everything ready. That's what's not going to be in there. But when they're done, it'll be it's going to be done. It's going to involve equipment and labor, which is two different things. Okay. Is SCADA installation and equipment, or is SCADA just instrumentation? It's just the integration of the instrumentation. So okay. what I'm so saying is. Okay. So we don't have the instrumentation. Right. The instruments. Okay. How much is the instrumentation going to be? Because you can't do the integration if you don't have the equipment. Well, there's two, there's two parts to that. So you're going to have integration of the new uh, proposed chlorine and pH meter. Which we don't have yet. Correct. Those are 6100. But there's also going to be you know, some services needed from the lava less because we're going to be extended, extending the uh, communication out to those sheds. That eight hundred dollars that I've got there is for that. Okay, but that's it's the instrumentation we don't yet have Correct. here. Correct. Right. Okay, and that's sixty one hundred dollars. Sixty one hundred. Well, <clears throat> okie doke. Let's put it in here. So, instrumentation. Okay, that takes it way over where we were, so we're going to have to borrow it from someplace else. How much 
Which is 2,500. Oh, yeah. okay. 3,600 for the chemical sheds. Okay. Vents and fans for 1,200. Yep. Running the electrical, just running the lines, $800. That's, that's the last thing you're going to be doing. Well, it doesn't matter. It's, it's got to be in the cost. It's got to be in the budget. Okay. Are we going to turn this thing online this year? In 2020? The heat fan, integration, electrical. Yeah. Now, do you, you have instrumentation, 6100? Integration with SCADA is 800. So the total is 15,000. And I had the only, I had labor here for 2002 in case we needed to turn jack. I think we can get away without using the action on that. Okay. So we can that. Yeah. All right, now. Now, do you include the front room BFDs in there as well as the panels? Which is 14.4? Do you include it? Did we talked about that as well. I don't know where we're going, that's what I'm asking. This appears just to be those sheds. That's yeah, the sheds mostly. Yeah, that's for switch. But we also talk about Nothing the in the pump holes. galley. Yeah. Okay. That's fifteen thousand dollars for the shed and the and the transfer switch. For the generator. Okay. I thought we bought that already. No. No, we were go we're going to buy it. Okay. <laughs> so we don't have the home system in there now? What? Yes, we do. We, we don't, no, okay, we don't have UPSs on the computers and stuff like that, do we? No, we don't. Okay, so they take a hit every time the power goes off. I've got them all over my house. Let me rephrase, we have UPS systems, in the, yes, we get small ones, we don't have a, a, a UPS system, I misunderstood you, for the whole building. No, no, no. You don't each, need each individual computer does plug into a UPS. Uh, what's your transfer time from power failure? Minus 12 seconds. What's yours? What's it's it? minus 12 seconds. Ours is instantaneous. Well, it's got to spin up first. It's, 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 it's small. five seconds, maybe. Yeah. Okay, so you don't need huge UPSs for the computers. Okay. All right. Make a mental note that at some point we're going to do stuff in the pub galley. BFD is what I'm referring to here, right? Later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll get to that. Later. All right. Capital improvement collection system. Are we planning on digging up any lines? On the collection system? Yes. The Keras Drive is something we should look at. Oh. That's the one with the dip. Oh. So the there's a so on the Karis, there's the culvert that runs under there. At oh, the yeah. What's that? It went down to the springs running down to where the road yeah. washed out. Yeah, about five years ago. So when that washed out, there was a dip was created in that line, and um, they repaired the culverts and I guess repaired the dip the best they could in place and then lined it. But that dip is the leading culvert to why we had that backup over there um, last year. Backup all the way to Main Street. Right. That ends right in. 
into their houses. Right. So, sewage yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, so, we've been having problems with Karis for decades. Yeah, it's kind of like badly built. And, uh, and it's actually, it, it's, I'm saying the Karis, but it's Partridge, right? Yeah. Oh, there's Lane. Right. Right. That's where the, the, the dip is. So we should definitely look at um, at least repairing that section. What are we talking? Digging it up and replace that section. That's a, yeah. So get in there, you know, the, and the the dip we have we've had we've had it solved. I mean, it's not a huge dip, um, but I don't know what we're going to be looking at once we get into that. Well, no, you can actually tell it. Don't make noises. Mute. How much I tell you? Huh? How do you? Give it to yes. your grandson. Yes. Yeah, they'll figure it out. It's a tether. That's exactly how we it. Turn it on. Let we'll get it on first. <laughs> We've got seven thousand dollars in collection system capital improvement. Mm -hmm. It's going to cost more than seven thousand to pull that dip out because you will. We will find something else. I guarantee it. Well, we just don't know the rules the whole thing. Right there in the trenches. Oh yeah. I don't bring mine here. All right. Chemicals at the plant. I've got $10,000. And based on our experience, we will probably spend about $10,000 unless there's a major increase somewhere. This didn't relatively stable all the way through. Yeah. Five, this year it was. We, we were able, I was able to negotiate a price lock with. Hard cross last year, then they did um, agree to give us the same price lock, so we can anticipate the same pricing on chemicals for this year. Let's do it for ten thousand uh, bucks. All right, let's move on to personnel. No, that can't be right. Chemicals for the collection system. Yeah. Do we act? We we never spent anything here, but no. it's a cap. It's always we just maintain in case we need chemicals. I. I got a dollar in there to hold it. That's fine. Right there. Chemicals. I love that. Chemicals coal cysts, hundred dollars. Then chemicals collection system, which is blank. That line can leave. <coughs> it got replicated. I'm gonna skip over for now. Uh, trash removal. It's going to go off. Do we put that out to bid every year? The trash services you don't. It's not big enough. No. No, it's not big enough. Mm -hmm. We get it. Twelve hundred bucks a year is about it. Yeah. We do it bi-weekly, like dumpster change. I mean, there's been small a few. Dumpster. It's a fairly small dumpster. Um, Ninety percent of the time, it's they come in empty and it's half full. You know, right now during the upgrade, we've been filling it up. Outside of that, it's, it's okay. When we had the backup on on Partridge, we let the, the homeowners that had the damage in their house use it. Since it was in the agreement that we made at the time to get rid of some of their stuff, so that's why uh, you know in terms of the budget right now, that's why I think we're over a little bit. We had a few extra empties, uh, but typically that's pretty pretty much a bi-weekly figure. Based on the experience of the town, it's better to look some. PMPL study, that's a fixed cost. It is. It's mm -hmm. like, it's going to go up. It'll go up too. It may. So I put in 4000 Legal. You know what we spent. We should probably. I have it budgeted for 5000 That's all. Huh? That's all. Back. Yeah, five hundred. That's a no-no. Yeah. Right there. See, 
Electricity in the plant, if you look back through time, it's, it's been running about 14 and a half. So I said, all right, let's do 14 and a half again. And that's for the, all of our. So that's the plant. Plant. Right. Right. I understand that. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of. I know. There's a lot of stuff around here. I got it. License renewals and course. We only spent ninety dollars for time, but I think we ought to encourage more coursework. Amen. Amen. Five hundred dollars. <throat> Will that cover his upgrades? Well, we got his. We got mine. We have another operator coming at some point. How much is yours? It's the same. So it's it's fifty bucks to renew our licenses, but the coursework that That's we need to asking. maintain the I, I CEUs. Get what it so we had. Do we need a thousand or a spot for it enough? We had two thousand <coughs> budgeted for last, you know, last proposed budget. We had a thousand on water and a thousand on sewer. What's your thoughts on that? What's that? Yeah. Right, so I would, I would say a thousand. Electricity Foundry Street Pump, this thing is pretty ordinary. Um, it was budgeted for 33. We spent three quarters of the year 2279, so I'm thinking 3500 because it's going to go up some, but not much. And that's been holding up pretty well. No problems yeah. with that. Yeah. Okay. I'm good with that. I'm going to Okay. Fine. Say again? You okay with that increase? It's just a minor. This looks only. It's a minor increase to thirty-five hundred from thirty-three hundred. Okay. Sludge hauling. It's been running about twenty-seven uh, for three quarters of the year. We've spent only about seventeen hundred. Seventeen thousand. Seventeen thousand. Yeah. Oh, those pesky decimals. We've got. You know, we just emptied the sludge stores tank. And we, we worked on also uh, the top line ditch. So we're going to have, there's going to be uh, invoice coming in. And we'll need one more uh, empty before the end of the year. So uh, this, this breaks down into two categories, just so you're aware. You've got hauling and you've got disposal. Right, right. Up for, right. <coughs> but we've got $10,000 approximately mm -hmm. as a margin. It's not something we can negotiate on. <laughs> no, you want to get, you rid, of get rid of that stuff. Yeah, so you gotta get rid of we're going to pay the damn bill. No. But the bill shows hauling and disposal would have cost us three years to pay. Or this update. That's what I'm looking at here. We've got uh, disposal listed here. It's both. It's both. Okay. Yeah. Because right. so on the sheet that I have, it just shows hauling, but I'm assuming that they wouldn't haul it. So they got no, right. sludge and hauling. Sludge and hauling. Yeah. That's what I thought. You know, we, I had budgeted for 30 last year. I know. And so that's just so that you guys are aware, Jeremy has been hemming and hawing about an increase on his end. 
He hasn't done one in 10 years, he said. Who, who's Jeremy? He's the owner of the sludge hauling company that was. Oh, oh. Um, Jeremy Huzzy. Huzzy. They've given us, you know, they give us a very fair deal for the sludge hauling. We pump to them, they're just basically a container. Right, yeah. Um, it's roughly $850, I think, for the day's work. Uh, but that rate's been set with him for a decade, he said. So uh, he hasn't, I told him, I said, if you come back at me and, and you need an increase, there's a good chance you're going to go out to bid. So you can stand the chance of potentially losing it. He, he should come to work. Well, yeah. this, is, this is well. This is while he's sitting there waiting for the yeah, yeah, okay. he's, All right. he's pitching. He's, he's pitching. pitching. Yeah. Good so I'm just letting it's good you, business. I'm you know. letting you guys know. I don't know if he's going to come at us for more. Okay. Um, All right. But we'll deal with it when he comes at us. Okay. I mean, we're going to have to hire somebody. And, you know, we've had good relationship there, but again, it's good relationship. Put a bit of a padding in there just in case. So no. No. Okay. Right. I mean. Three quarters of the year, we spent seventeen thousand dollars a month. Anyway, typically once a month. You know. Okay. I do like one point two five a month um, to get a real average for the year. Summertime, we haul a little bit more than once a month. Fuel, gas, and supplies per month. Fuel, gas. This is propane, right? Or this? Yes. This is it's just propane. Not fuel. Water. It's just gas. Yeah. No, this is, I'm assuming the way it's listed here, fuel gas is not broken. Okay. I bumped that up to 3000 mm -hmm. Because. Uh, 2018 expenditure of 946 We had a, there was an issue, a counting issue. We got a huge credit. That's why that number is so low. Yeah. Yeah, but it's going to cost. Propane. There's no doubt. I think it's moving in the right direction. Then. Propane is going Lab supplies and equipment services. See, this again probably could end up being a capital item. Okay, twelve thousand. I budgeted twelve thousand. That seems to be a track with just about a year. No, it's lab supply and equipment services. What? And that kind of uh, these guys coming in and doing this. I think it's cover actually. He's asking what the cover is. That's the point. It was actually covered. Oh. Yeah, I can see. Does that include uh, Summersworth doing anything? Mm -hmm. It has to. Okay. So we have to do it. Okay. Allison, the, the lab supplies slash equipment services, it it's, does, right? It's, it's all. The city of Summersworth. Okay. Yeah. Services and supplies. Services include what? So the, all of our wastewater testing that gets run in summer's work. Mm -hmm. And then uh, our annual wet test comes out of there. Your better half wants to speak to you. Consumables. The consumable supplies, right? I put it in for twelve thousand. Is there any expectation it's going to bump up heavily? Some of what's been really um, stable with their pricing for us. I have priced out a few other options that would give us courier service, but the pricing it, it, it makes more sense for us just to run it. Okay, so right. This one I just absolutely put down at yeah. one dollar because I we need to be more specific, that's why. Contractor work, this is basically depth and height. I put in five thousand other than what is already Yeah. 
tractor coming in and look at the generator? No, that would come under no. repairs and maintenance, right? Yeah, that would come under repairs and maintenance. If they're doing their make the regular maintenance process, if they came in and changed the um, rotor, that would be a capital item. But boy, it may well be expensive. But it gives us something, and it's five thousand dollars. Okay. Here's point. Yeah. See, this is the one that's like. I have a feeling many capital items got shoved into here as they belong to capital improvement. But it's okay as long as it, I guess, it nets out to the same thing. I put in 16000 because it's budgeted for sixteen five. We only spent two-thirds of it. But I figure, all right, let's do 16000 again. This include like that deck? That would include the deck. You know, we got painting no. Clarifier is a capital item. No, 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 the, no, no, deck, no, no. the deck at the clarifier. The, the wooden deck, deck is rotting. Right, right. That yeah, needs to be repaired. Um, you know, concrete work for the uh, contact chambers. Yeah. That could come in under that. Um, there's plenty of items that, that justify maintenance. Maintenance, like you mean, like you did painting. And mm -hmm. Oxidation ditch. Yeah. You turn around and pump that out and inspect it. That would fall under that, and we could even, we could even probably argue that the that last bit of sludge that we got to get out yeah. could be considered under that, because that's really not sludge hauling. No, it's maintenance. That's maintenance to maintain that. So we clean it so we can inspect it and repair it. Right. So that really should, when we break this down, we should categorize that type of hauling under that category. But sixteen thousand seems like a fair figure at this point. I think so. Yeah. Maintenance and repairs collection system. This, I mean, one of the favorite things they used to do is they have to go around and reseat the manholes. Correct. And <clears throat> I'm thinking a thousand bucks, but I suspect that may end up being more. Because every time you go over a manhole, it goes clunk clunk, that means it's about to collapse. So if we want to. We've already identified manholes in Stockdale that need to be uh, redone. redone. So a thousand is definitely not enough to, to handle all of those. How many we talked about? Stockdale? How many manholes we talked about? Did you mention again? Did you play, did you require repairs? Play? It, it was, it was going to be a, a combination of working with the, the road agent because it's hot top repair that needs to be done around it. It had to do with them not being seated properly, so it, it you know. Yeah, it held up well, but still, you know, every time their Cadillacs drive over it, you know, and their BMWs. I mean, I'd like to see more there, and we can just do what we can with what's there, but. A thousand is definitely not enough. We're right looking at receipt manuals, stock deal basically at this point in time. Yeah. They're at least five hundred dollars each. I don't want to say there was eight of them in there that needed that needed attention. Now not all eight of them were going to need to be replaced though. Just keep that in mind. It was going to be made of four of them. So we had to lower a few of them and then work on getting some pavement in, but two thousand? Well, I'd like to see five thousand there. Well, I'd like to have all my hair back. I think two's <laughs> a little tight, but I mean, like you said, we can borrow from other places if needed. Well, we don't want to make a habit out of that. Um, general supplies. This is so we going with two thousand then? Yes. Yeah, I got a question. On maintenance and repairs, the inspections were still running, like the video we just did. No, we had that as a separate line item. As a separate line item. Yeah. Um, That's an other. We had a preventative maintenance and collection system line item when we had $8,000 budgeted for the CAT TV work. I'm not sure if it's broken down that way here, but it, we should have a, its own line item. Now, the videos for that? The the videos videos for the look at? Maintenance item. Right. How long does it take to get the video? Depends on how detailed you want to get. I mean, it's just, it's just a slow, I, you can fast forward through it. There's nothing, uh, and you the videos can go through them all. Ever see those videos? I 
you ever talk to Yes, but you're going to be sitting in a room this big when you're looking at it. I know. I bet you hold like you in the way. I believe in my, my old days, I think about like friends. Right? Let's do, okay, let's stay on course. So, maintenance and repairs collection system, exclusive of the dip in Vicaris Drive, let's say $2,000. All right, general supplies, it's meaningless. It's a catch all phrase. Mm -hmm. $3,000 because we've only, and only spent two hundred. General supplies, shell knives, coffee. It, it's anything. Anything that doesn't fall into another category. It's worse than almost as bad as miscellaneous. What's miscellaneous? What's water? I was just going to ask that. They, 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 they consume water at the wastewater plant. Okay. But it's one district. And a couple years ago, they said, why are we paying ourselves back and forth? Let's get rid of it. So. I agree. Why are we paying ourselves? It's just an well, accounting horror show. If, if we were going to go that route, then the backwash from the arsenic treatment should be charged to the water side when they do the backwash. Because that goes into the wastewater system. So it's a wash between the two. Phones. Uh, budgeted sixteen hundred, spent twelve. Sixteen hundred. Huh? Okay. The collection system capital expense are fixed. Those are determined. You can't change them. There's a capital. Capital expense principal plan. Capital expense interest on that debt. So those are those are the ones that one in one location anyway, isn't it? Those are fixed. Yeah. So those are determined. Yeah. Wasn't this the water one? No. The no, the water one got taken out. Okay. It's over in water now. And this pertains to what? This is this is just the loan for the upgrade to the wastewater system. It's 30 years long. We won't get out of that until 2033. Well, that's the rules they make. Yeah. Well, He's also got one that you can um, pay them off theoretically. Right? Laundry yeah. Street's dropping off, the right? Laundry. Well, Laundry Street's not in sewer for this anyway. Oh, this is water. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. This is sewer. No. Well, Laundry Street should because the Laundry Street lift station. The the for when you listen to the foundry last year, was when you actually used quarter well. Okay. That's why you got moved. I understand that. But there's, there's nothing going on. Uh, what's the type of principal plant thing for the 20000 That was the. Uh, that is the principal on the loan. And then the next that was the loan for the new building they put up. Well, it was a combined thing. It was the new headworks yep. plus the sewer lines in the downtown. It's a bond. It's not so a yeah, yeah. bond. What sewer lines are found to do? All of them. Do you remember, Lana? That should be paid off. No. It was all part of one bond. Mm. That was for the city year? Whatever it is, it is a bond for wastewater. Do they build one on top of the other? Is that what they have to do? Is the whole story in? Is it a separate bond? You're practically a story that told me to build it. I know. The bond has a bond, the whole thing is there. Yeah. But this is a separate thing, not commodity. Whatever it was meant for, it is wastewater, and it won't retire out. Systems improvement plan. Well, should this be capital improvement? Should this be maintenance and repair? This is another one of those extraneous. It's very vague. Yeah. So I said, I, I don't know what this is. Doesn't this really belong in another category? But to keep it open, I said, all right, let's put $4,000 in there. 
even though we've spent nothing. Because that may turn out to help fund something else up above, like capital improvement. It was budgeted 13, none of it was ever spent. What well, is Rock Share Administrator? That is the wages and benefits and costs to run the office. Mm. Now, what about the system in pool and plant? What are we doing? I'm sorry, what? What are we doing? Systems in pool and plant. I, I mean, see that. Then. I understand. Okay. It doesn't. Yeah, it's still going on. we should probably eliminate it and put it up in like either capital improvement plan or maintenance and repair plan. It, it's functionally a redundant line, but I don't know where it should. Well, that, you know, the original work coming up. For $4,000? No. Just for what's going on here, sorry. Um, actually, wait a minute, I'm trying to remember. The rules for our labeling things. Because it was called System Improvement Plan, you can either zero it out and create a new line, but you can't just rename it. Zero out system improvement plan and put the four thousand here. Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Net effect is the same. That's true. All right. So in three hundred fifty nine syringes. No, it's not. No. Okay, I'm going to explain this one more time. There are 463 units built for sewer. So I've got three, you've got what? Two, three, he's got one, no, he's got no sewer. He's got, okay. Then there are. He's got an outhouse. Yeah, I know. <laughs> then we've got meters. Okay. My house has one meter. Okay, I see. So if you take the sewer rate, okay, which is this thing up above, and we've got to make sure it includes everything. It apparently does. Okay. Your total budget is going to be 362077 Because we increase some stuff. How much do you need? 362. Zero seven seven. That's your total budget. Exclusive of Warner. Okay. Three six two zero seven seven is what you got right now? Yes. Now we're going to put in a Warren article I'm recommending for SIP to lock away money for capital improvements down the road instead of showing up one day saying, oh, oh God, we've got to borrow money to do this. Yep. We will actually have money set aside okay. for that purpose. Okay? Especially the big bills coming out of the pipe. They have something set up. Huh? Especially the big bills coming out of the pipe. They have something set up. We, we, we anticipate there will be some. 
That brings you to a total budget of 387,077. Total budget. Operating budget plus one article. That's the only one article we have. Yes, so far that we know of. Okay. I know of. I know, but that's what it was. Because it was under the sheet. It was in the water anyway. So it's not high. Okay, if you take that number, let's see if this is clear. Now, it becomes a question of do you build based on consumption or do you build based on units? Well, I said, okay, let's base on units, because that's what we know. All right. We've got 463 units divided into that number, that 387, says per unit you're going to pay 836.0202. Per unit, or about two hundred nine dollars per quarter. I'll send this out to you so that you can see it. Okay. Can I also get a copy of this? Yes, it'll go out. It'll, it'll actually be on the drive. Okay. Why not we charge them based upon consumption? Let's let's deal with this first. Okay. Yeah, well, let's deal with Maybe. this first. First of all, you've got to have a budget. Yep. Then you have to decide how you're going to raise it. Got it. Okay. All right. Let's get over to water. And here we go for the same thing. Brown, was this just a? Did you just put these in these worn articles on sewer on accident? I got Porter Well and John. Yeah, I got those there. By accident. Here. 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 It goes on over here. You may need it. repairs are blank okay. and they're repeated down below. That's why. Okay. okay. Arsenic treatment. We're not going to buy any more green sand, are we? Yeah. Or do. Um, when, when are we do? Well, we've, we've actually hit the expected life on the media. Okay. Um, I had a company come out and, and do uh, take a sample. He's supposed to be getting a price from me. I don't have it yet. So And how much would it be to replace it totally? That's what I'm waiting to find out. I don't know. You don't didn't we do this before? Well we did treatment. No, we, we haven't replaced it yet. This 
is the original green sand media. Yeah. So we're getting close. Life is unknown. That's right. All right, chemicals. I'm picking 16,000 because we spent 10,000 through September. I, I know it's hard to read, but no, I, I, I didn't lost it all around. The budget last year was 15.5. I said, it's going to go up. So I said, let's do 16,000. Yeah. We're not going to do personnel here. Um, okay. Other professional services, okay, I broke it out into their proper categories. Mm -hmm. Porta potty, mm -hmm. 1,200. It's going to go up. Uh, legal, did you make a medical note? And you went half on the other one, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Flip it over. What you put in for legal? Legal? $10,000. Okay. Or $5,000. All right, you've got it close to five. I know. Okay, we handle it. You made them both 10 to one as well? Yes. Right here. And whether it's right here or to you, I don't care. The point is, we're going to have engineering costs for a lot of stuff. Right. And I figured we spent way over. We spent twenty-one seven. So we're probably going to be spending at least twenty-five in the next year. Because that'd be changing. Well, you can't change it. Is that a new line item? No, it is a detail of other professional services. Okay. How much is the engineering cost? Huh? Just listed as engineering class or generic? Yes. It's not just right here, it's just other, oh, no. anybody that comes along. Mm -hmm. So, what did we put down for legal? We put this down 10,000. 10,000. Okay. And for right here, we're still at 25,000. Well, okay. Good. And that made me shocked. And that, that covers what? What does it cover? The 25000 uh, 25, for 2010. Anything that needs engineering. Engineering costs. Unexpected engineering costs. Unexpected engineering costs. Not just un unexpected. I think we need to be more careful about like engineering studies done things. Like, for example, Willie Street is going to need an engineering cost. It's got to have it in order to submit to the state. Mm -hmm. They have to have it. It's not going to be much, but it's going to be there. And then you're going to have one if you're talking. Obviously, this is the water side, but if you have on the sewer side, you're going to take that mulch off and put mulch on, you're talking about the Paris. Yeah. You're going to need engineering services on that, right. too. But that's over in the wastewater side. I know. But the wastewater side. On the other professional services, you don't have engineering listed. No, it's called right pierce. And what, wait, 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 engineering? For the sewers, there's nothing. Move your finger. Move your finger. Move your finger. Move your finger. Other. I know, but it's hard to oh, okay, change that engineering services. I'm not interrupted. Okay. Which line is this? Did you listen to that? What? Did you get up? I'm looking at the engineering services to look at it. I'm guessing. That's what the budget's on. They're guesses. That's the best you can do. If you give me the cost in the past and get some things done, I double, I make that twenty-five thousand as well in sewage. In sewage? Yeah. You mean you make it that in wastewater? All right. Sewage, wastewater, whatever. <laughs> Try drink sewage. <laughs> I know. I, I know. Okay, so we're on the water side. I understand. But I'm just going to go back and change that one down uh, to the. 25 to Monsey. Where are we at on this? I'm, I'm talking about going back to storage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Back on storage. Which one are we talking about here? Other, Other professional services. 25. So instead of 4105, but we've got 10,000 in there now. I understand. Changing it to 25. Okay. So will that change your overall too? Yes, yes, it will. will. But what oh, does it? Fifteen plus fifteen. Are, are you talking about the bottom line? Yeah. Yep. 
402077. Right, it's now $217.10 per quarter. Street, Porter Well. Um, I said 7,500. Wow. You got safe. Um, I sent a message out. We, we haven't gone over the limit of benzene, but we're starting to see benzene again in the raw water. So it's not at the point where we need to turn the, the booster pumps on, but if we get to that point, that electric yeah. bill's going to jump. Yeah. Just keep okay. that in mind. So that's I think it's safe to have a buffer there over what we spent last year at twenty five hundred in case that happens. We budgeted ten last year. We spent fifty one twenty nine so far. Right, so you get twenty five hundred over where we're at now is what I'm saying. Correct. Right. right? Yep. Yeah. So we're coming into the end of the year. I think that's a safe bet. Well that's this is for two thousand twenty. I understand that. I mean in February we could suddenly have a big boom. Mm -hmm. Benzene, so is seventy five hundred adequate? I'm I'm using spent to date. Yeah. To what you're budgeting for next year. Right. It's about a twenty five hundred dollar increase for what we spent right now. Now we're, right. we're going to have probably one more electric bill. I think the last one's already been processed. Right. So, you know, eight eighty five hundred might be safer. Okay. Um, All right. Electricity General John Sullivan. Did you go eight or eighty five on that? I went eighty five. And I said electric to the general John Sullivan, 8,500, based on yep. use and yep. uh, The next one is license renewal and coursework. What did we do on the other side? 1,000. 1,000. So we'll put 1,000 in here. Uh, legal has been dealt with up above. Fuel, this is propane again. I put in 22, mm -hmm. but that may be shy because we've already spent 2,000 as of the end of September. But we top them off, right? We, there, everything's on automatic fill now. We don't top off anymore. So when they come, they fill them. But um, you might be a little bit anticipating no, increases in, in propane. Yeah. You know. Twenty-five hundred. All right, twenty-five. Invoice we have well is for and what not. Yes, it does. Yeah, each location. Yeah, yeah. Because he has two cars. 
to the nobody budgeted for fun last year, which was odd. But we've got phone, alarms, water tower, and wells. We're we're gonna have to start cleaning up some of the stuff that we never used. Phone, alarms, water tower, wells. This looks like everybody. That's I put it for fifteen hundred. It was budgeted for twelve. We spent six seventy, but small, but mm. which one's that? Phone okay, alarm. this is phone. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So you think twelve hundred is good for that? I put in fifteen. 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 Fifteen hundred. Lab yeah. supplies and equipment. Budgeted twelve hundred. Spent thirty four. Yeah, and that thirty four hundred. I was looking through the, the budget tracker. There's a couple items that need to be moved over to repair and maintenance. Because we had the um, turbidity meter that failed that we had to have repaired. That's in there. And we had the, um, the pH probe that we purchased that we have to do annually. That fell under there. That really should be on the maintenance. So that number. Well, well it's works. a supply because it's consumed. I know pH meters, you just keep them. They're good. Yeah, all right. Well, they're like litmus paper. But if you put four there, I think it, yeah, that's, that should be Okay, good. lab services. I think this is actually a little low. No, we have talked to lab services. That's all the testing we did. Well, yeah, there's a state, if you did 10,000, I would say it's extended. Right, but the reason we did so much is because we had a, we had a corrosion control issue, and we were doing a ton of extra lead sampling okay. while we were getting the and we had an arsenic issue, so we were doing lead and arsenic samples as we were doing system changes. That's why that number is high. The so reason it came down is because we were in compliance now, and we've actually cut our samples in half in terms of what's required. Except that we've got PFAS. Thank you. It all, all that crap. Correct. We have no idea what that's going to turn into. I would keep it pretty close to what it was budgeted for last year. Okay. Is it the Yeah. I agree. Maintenance and repairs, because it's maintenance and repairs up above. Why do we have two maintenance and repairs? Because it, it's part of the housekeeping problem we'll take care of next year. Okay. Maintenance and repairs, again, a lot of this stuff is going to go down into a worn article. So this would be sort of leftover maintenance repairs after we've done the worn articles. If they pass. If they pass. General supplies, again, is one of those catch-all miscellaneous accounts I hate so much, but it's there. I would definitely recommend, you know, uh, under distribution, maintenance and repair, keep it in the buffer for that potential water break. I don't know if we we're considering that anywhere, we, but. We, see, we don't have, if you look up at the top, mm -hmm. you've got maintenance repairs treatment and maintenance repairs distribution. There's nothing in those lines since 2017. So apparently what they did is they did maintenance repairs and lumped both distribution and treatment together. Didn't do that. On the proposed sheet for 19, we had maintenance and repair. I had capital improvement was line item one. Line item two was maintenance and repair treatment system. Line item three was maintenance repair distribution. We proposed 17,000 for the treatment and we proposed 30,000 for the distribution. But those are not warrant articles. No, that's this is different than the warrant articles. Uh, no. Wait till you get to the bottom, you'll see that there's now okay. so four articles. Yeah. So this is maintenance repairs above and beyond those items. But just keep the 30,000 that you're moving into one article was there for, that's where we were capturing any potential water break. So that's, a worn article isn't going to capture a water break. No. So you got to have some buffer somewhere in this budget for a water break. I've got a proposed $10,000 for maintenance repairs above and beyond. Uh, I'm 
Let's see that because I'm all put in distribution of the zero as well. Yeah. Yeah. Distribution. You want the distribution. I want to see it tells you what it's for. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you want maintenance repairs distribution and maintenance repairs treatment? Yeah. Okay. All right, so treatment, we're going to do, we, we've got nothing in there. We have a line item, so how much maintenance or repairs for treatment, exclusive of one artist? How much? Do you work? What you do with the general solvent? Well, general solvent, we want to do insulation in the building, the door. You know, there's painting that needs to be done. You know, $5,000 would be able to give us a good amount of maintenance and repair of the buildings and, and insulating again. Is that, or is that distribution or is that treatment? That would be treatment, right? We're talking yeah. about the wells as yeah. treatment. And the distribution system would be the... Wait a minute, wait a minute. That was 5000 Yeah. Okay. Now, for maintenance and repairs distribution, that's everything past the pump sites. Right. So we're talking, you know, we could capture water breaks in there. I think we should start considering hydrant replacement a couple of years. Mm -hmm. okay, right. We've got some hydrants that are in desperate need, so um, if we could put a, a decent figure there, we could, we could plan on doing two hydrants a year for the next year. Well, we had 30 in there last year. So. Okay, but that was General John Solid. That was what we're now going to be worn articles. So we can't put 30,000 in there and if you worn articles. The same thing. This is the worn out. Right. Here at the bottom. I understand. The Thirty thousand for General Sullivan. Though you're talking about the upgrade, correct? The general. Yes. Right. So uh, this treat. This work. is right. So I'm talking maintenance and repair distribution. Thirty thousand is what we had last year, and that was for water breaks and hydrants. So I think tens. You know, we didn't knock on wood. I don't even want to say it right now because we got a month left, but. We've had a good year, but you know, water breaks can get costly quick. Yeah, okay, you gotta have a number. What's so, the number for all? Well, like I said, we had 30 in there, so I you can't put 30 in there. That would never pass. You gotta understand the politics of people when they see what this is gonna do. No, I understand the politics of people. So, um, 15 then. That'll give us the ability to do a couple hydrants and, and, and leave ten thousand dollars for a potential break and hopefully that's enough. Hopefully we'll have one. Okay, so maintenance and uh, where the maintenance and repairs I've zeroed it out. Okay. All right, I zeroed it out. So all right, fine. So you zeroed maintenance and repair out. Yeah, the the that one's out there. You had ten there. Right. So we added 15 to distribution. Yes. And five to treatment. And five to treatment. Right. Am I moving along? General supplies. Again, this is one of those. Well, what is it? I don't know, but over $5,000 got charged to that account. So I said, I don't know what is, well actually I can tell you what you it is, but wait, I have to look up the transaction. General supply. Yes, I got that. But we still don't know what the hell's in it. We, we, we get some it. definitional yeah. things. Yeah. General supplies are basically supplies that don't belong anywhere else, like lab equipment, distribution, maintenance and repairs. It's like, okay. I put in three thousand dollars because that's Yes. Lab equipment comes under lab supply. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But things get miscategorized a I lot. You've got to sort of accept that as part of life. Yeah, it's nice to have it cleaned up so that if somebody looks at that, they can actually tell you what they spent. Well, one of the things we're going to try to do is we're going to use Sage to do this. Sage has a whole budget versus actual analysis that it does. Miscellaneous expense, I just put in, because I hate miscellaneous, I put in a dollar for placeholder. That's good. The capital 
expense principal and capital expense interest, these are defined. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pro professional share administration, I just used what was there. All right. Now, that brings us to an operating budget of 345, 508. Now, Willie Street. I said, let's do this as a loan. Do we have that item for that one this week? Of course not. Um, Which one is for those of us that are visually challenged, clearly? Okay. Willie Street, at, I said 107000 Let's borrow it for five years at 3.125%, because that's what Northway Bank is telling me their current rate is. They said it could go down, it could go up, but yeah. uh, I've, I've got to have something to start with. So that's part of the problem, just to stay in the way. It could cost us quite a bit of money. How, well, I did this at 107000 And How much do you want to put in there? Was it 120 I, I was saying the exact same number. Okay. Because then I'll have to refigure the thing. Understand. All right. But, 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 I also said, let's do them all. Let's do Willie Street, let's do Porter Wells, let's do General John Sullivan, and let's do the engineering for all of those things, all as one loan. And you have, you have the freedom to do that by your private. Because it, mm -hmm. yes, and it's all related to the same function, mm -hmm. which is water. Mm -hmm. Segregation. Huh? Segregation. Water and sewer. Yes, I know, but these are all water I functions. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we can't. No, but rural, de rural development, you wouldn't be able to group We're not them. even going to I understand, but I'm just saying, yeah. you wouldn't be able to group them like that. That's no. what, that's oh, yes, you can, actually. The problem is that's a 30 years, no, right. no discussion. Mm -hmm. and, oh, and by the way, we want four times the cost of engineering. Right. And same with bottom bank. So you can, you're going to group all these. So Porter Well for the 30, General Sullivan, you have at 13, but that should be 17. That was the set, the Warren article was 17 in general, not 13. Well, okay. Okay, we're, we're going to make adjustments. So I'll adjust 17. And I'm going to add 20%. I will add 20% for engineering for all of this. In the cap which will take it out of the operating. Are you grouping this capital improvement for twenty five thousand in there? No. No. Okay. That's something separate. Twenty five thousand. Now I recalculated what it would be if we borrowed one hundred and fifty thousand, and it's thirty two thousand five twenty one per year, which comes to almost, has a, almost, it's very small. It's where you see Willie Street, it says 23,272. Mm -hmm. That was 107 of that, but I'm going to do 150. So, hold on a moment, hold on. Let's start 32,521. Actually, that would make Porter Wells and General John Sullivan not part of this anymore because that would be included in Willie Street. It's Willie Street and. Okay. So, so you've got Willie, okay, so you're covering all of this under that loan. Correct. Well, except for capital improvement. Right. And that loan amount that you're looking to borrow is what? Just for what's here. 
I'd have to go back and recalculate it. Mm -hmm. But it's 32,521 per year spread over, and it depends if we talk about consumption or units. Okay. But that's for what's listed here now, not yes. with the adjustment. So not if I go into 120 for Willie Street. Correct. Borders at 30, and general gets adjusted to 17. Right. I haven't done that yet. I have to go back. And we have to add 20% for engineering. And then we've got the 25,000 capital improvement. That's going to get locked away from the trust funds. That that's what the 25 is. Okay. Right. I got you. Now, until we do the adjusting, it's 436,780. What was that number again? 436, yeah. 780, but subject to change without notice. Yeah, I understand. Would make a water rate based on units, not meters, units of 156.44. Per quarter? Per quarter. So I'll go from 93 to 156. I think this is what we need to present to the budget committee. I can hear the audible gasps already. Given some of the things that they are spending on, I'm cut back. Well, I hate to say it. I, I'm not going to say they're going to love it, but I'm not going to say they're going to think that either. I don't know what they're going to They're going to sit there like deer and talk. Unfortunately, what needs to happen is, and I hate to say this, but Jimmy Carter had one thing right, and that was zero based budgeting. And we are not doing anything remotely. No, actually, we are, strangely enough, but only in one small category, which is summer rec. <laughs> and that's now no longer zero based. All right, anything else that needs to be considered? Because this is what has to go before. And we'll see what they say. I mean, they, the first meeting of the budget committee. Huh? The first meeting of the budget committee. When is the meeting of the budget committee? Yeah, it's coming December out. 4th, Sport. 6 p.m. And my recommendation is not to present, present this. Present what this. I will do is I will slice it in half and make it larger. I promise. I can change my reason. It's already here. I, I got to tell you, this is way easier to read. I understand this. this is I, I can fix this. Show. I can fix this. Okay. Okay. With all the adjustments, can you give me the the sewer number again, please? The sewer number again. You you're talking well, about operating budget. Operating or budget. Total? Operating budget to start. Three seventy seven zero seven seven. Three seventy seven zero seven seven total. Let me get that. Four zero two zero seven seven. In rate. Based on units. Mm -hmm. 217.10. Per quarter. Per quarter. And so people are going you know, it's going to, okay, so your rate's going to go from 148, whatever it is, to 217.10. And I'll just get out my goal hockey equipment and put it on and say, go ahead, tell me what you think. Okay. Can you do the same for the water for me real quick? Yeah. yeah. If you want to go. Now, wait a minute, there's a lot of adjusting that's going on. Operating budget is 345, 508. Yep. The unadjusted, and we're going to be making some adjustments mm -hmm. with Warren articles, is 436, 780. So you have that's without the adjustments, okay? Yeah, without the adjustments, then it's going to go up. Up. Another 15,000 or so. Mm, I don't know. Okay. I'll have to wait. The water rate will be 156. Per unit. The same way we're charging now. Well, no, that's only the way I calculated it. If you base it on consumption, it'd be all over the place. So you look at this as sort of an average bill. Just so you know, when I brought this up at the landlord meeting, yeah. and there were several in this town that don't live here, they're talking class action. 
places around the world that we find here and Epping are the only ones that are not basing it. They're built on consumption. I agree. Well, the landlords are part of the problem. They have to go ahead and we do all this. I think that building is not going to comply. No. 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 Just no. charge based on the consumption. No. If you've got seven no, no, it is. It's not a question. Wait a minute. It's not a question of I need to redo my plumbing. Okay. If I have three meters for each of my three units, okay, I'm still going to pay the same amount. Because it's consumption. It, it's okay, meter, okay, it's, right, it's right, unit right, space. Right, unit right. is the problem. Like well, you said, there's the one downtown at 17. They're paying 17 times 15,000 for these Carol, big 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 apartments. Carol, Vic, I feel so sorry for her. Well, no, I don't really. She can afford it. It's not about afford, it's about living. Yeah. How do you justify that when you get to court? Well, Have you never lost a case in court? Well, you the, other take side, that to court. the other side of it is, if you, if you are looking for affordable housing in Robinson, this is part of the contribution of making housing unaffordable. Correct. Okay. Which brings us into a whole other thing that, that housing workers who gets involved. Then you've got a whole other thing that say, wait a minute, they are making the town is out of fishing and making the property because you've got a high water and sewer rate. Right? For the landlords. Wait a minute, what are you talking about? The housing authority. Uh, not the housing authority. It's Gentlemen, are we good on the budget for today? I got to get at 11. This is all that's going to be. That's it. This is it. Okay. Now okay. we have to go. With, okay, let me, let me tell you the process. Yeah. We now go before the budget committee. We let them either thrash it around or look glazed and stunned and disturbed. Mm -hmm. Then there's a public hearing. I understand. Okay. Then there's the annual meeting. So there's a lot of steps in between where people get to stand up and say, I think it's a great idea or I think it's a stupid idea. Are you going to want me at the budget meeting? No. Okay. The last thing you want is to be blamed for that. Okay. The, the fewer targets, the better. Um, I mean, if you want to go and get thrashed, go ahead. You can take my place. <laughs> no, unfortunately, it's not like that. Yeah, I went last year and we proposed a hefty budget as well. Um, yeah, but you didn't have the detail that they needed. Which is, why are you just. No, no. It, well, there's, there's I, money. I don't want to go into a and back and forth. But the, politics. So. Right. But the budget committee did approve our budget last year. Yeah. And so. then what happened at the annual meeting? Well, we all know what happened at the annual meeting. Yes, we do. So. The folks turned out. But. So. All right. Is there going to be any more workshops between now and then? Not on the budget. Okay. Can I ask the group if we're going to have another workshop? Can you guys inform me a little bit in advance? Saturdays can be tough for me because I got my children at home and I need some time to be able to get childcare in place. Yeah. So if you could just send me an email, not have to 